Two of the biggest things people complain about when eating right is that healthy food is too expensive and they don't have enough time to prepare it. With this, it's gonna take care of both of those problems. What we're gonna be using is a slow cooker or what's more commonly referred to as a crock pot. They run between 20 and 30 bucks and what they do is they slow cook your food over a period of time, between two to six hours. And with one of them, you can make all kinds of recipes. Today, we'll be making my absolute favorite, and it's really easy. It's a chicken salsa mix, and we're gonna make it right now. Now, it doesn't get much easier than that, does it? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the salsa, Gonna open that up first. We're gonna pour a little bit just on the base of the slow cooker. Now that's just so that none of the chicken gets stuck on the bottom. It probably won't, but I just like to be safe. Now what I do is I get the chicken tenderloins. They're the smaller pieces of chicken. And what I do now is I just throw them all in there at once. Now that's a lot of chicken, but what we're gonna be doing once we're finished is putting them in little containers, putting them in the fridge, and keeping them for the rest of the week. This is gonna be your lunch for the whole week. So then, I take the salsa, and I just pour all the rest over the chicken, just like that. That's what it's gonna be marinating in for the next couple hours. With that done, I close the lid, I put it on low, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait six whole hours. During that six hours, it's gonna be slow cooking, just like the name implies, and it's gonna be making that chicken nice and tender and ready to go. So what you can do is you can take off. Don't worry about the slow cooker. It's not gonna to be too hot. It's not gonna like, you know, burn your house down. As long as you come back within six hours, you'll be good to go. So I will see you then. That looks pretty good. Now. I said six originally, but what you wanna do is after a few hours are over, you're gonna to wanna to check on the chicken. If you can, kind of the rule of thumb is if you can break them in half rather easily, which I'm being able to do, it's very tender, then the chicken is good to go. Each slow cooker is a little different. So as I said, every couple hours, just check on it, maybe after the four hour mark and just see how they're coming along. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the chicken, and we are going to begin to put it into the bowl. Now the great thing is about this, is this is gonna be your base for really all the lunches you can have during the week. I marinate the chicken in the salsa, and then if I wanna mix it up throughout the week, I do. I could take an instant bag of brown rice, I could put it in with the chicken, and then you've got one meal. Something else I like to do is take this chicken, shred it, mix it in with some avocado and put it on a little tortilla for a taco. There's a lot of different variations, but this recipe right here is a great starter. You can throw this in almost anything. And as you can see here with the chicken, that it's very tender. It's split, look at that. It splits right in half. That's beautiful. And it is good to go. So we have a big bowl right here, but what I usually do is I get five little plastic Tupperware reusable containers. I mix this up evenly within the five, I throw them in the fridge, and I have exactly enough for Monday through Friday. So if I was to do this on a Sunday afternoon, I would be good to go for the rest of the week lunch-wise. This is one of our favorite recipes, dudes, and I think you guys will like it too.